Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am gonna film a review on the natural perfumes from the brand that is called Essential Alchemy. And the founder of this company as well as the nose behind this uh, niche natural perfume house is called Amanda Philly. She is such a nice and lovely person and she creates the most beautiful high quality natural perfumes. I'm actually in love with them and I'm very excited to share them with you guys. So, natural perfumes are different from perfumes that ha contain um, alcohol and artificial um, ingredients. They are made from natural ing ingredients, they sit closer to the skin and they just um, are natural and that is a great plus, you know. You don't apply alcohol, it doesn't dry out your skin and you can actually... Um, I like to use them on my skin and on my hair and then my hair smells so nicely, so, so long. So yeah, that is it for the natural perfumes and I would like to say a few words about Amanda and about her brand and I would like to read what she um, says about her uh, herself or from her official website. So, um, Amanda Philly is a classically trained musician who is driven to create handcrafted all-natural perfumes that are compelling, luxurious and memory-making. And uh, Essential Alchemy is unique because she uses her training as an opera singer for composing of her natural perfumes. There are many similarities between composing music and perfume, each have notes and chords. And Amanda says that she composes music for our noses and isn't that a very cool uh, concept? I think it is very unique and yeah, I haven't uh, heard about something like that and this is really cool. And um, she just love to tell people stories with her perfumes and um, um, she finds people pleasantly surprised at the positive emotional experience they have when wearing a natural perfume. Natural perfumes are an aromatherapeutic experience since, uh, since our sense of smell is one of the most powerful senses that we own. And I need to agree, the power of sense is so important. I really like to smell good smelling stuff. So let's talk about the fragrances. Now you have the idea of the concept of the brand, about the founder of the company. I think it is always very important uh, when you um, discover a niche um, perfume house um, just to make a research and find out who is the person uh, that owns that brand, uh, does he or she create perfumes and stuff like that, and what is her, his or her mission. Um, so yeah, let's talk about the perfumes. I have a sample kit um, which has three samples and um, I really like that Amanda offers sample kits. The, she has a big variety of fragrances and that way you can if you don't know for which fragrance you you know like have to go then you can order a sample kit and play with the fragrances and see which one you like the most so this is how it looks like i really like how it has these beautiful notes and yeah this is really cute really very emotional and when you open it you get a small cute box that looks like this and it says Essential Alchemy, it has this beautiful picture and inside of it you get a plastic uh, bag um, so the fragrances are really secure and in here I have three samples and these perfumes are natural so they are on the oily base and um, yeah, so I will show you just one of them like this. Very simple, very nice and I really like the fact that um, these um, kind of perfumes that um, are on the oily base, I love to apply them on my skin but also on my hair and that way my hair smells amazing and I really like that because perfumes that has alcohol, they dry out my hair and I don't like it. So let's talk about the fragrances and the first one that I want to talk about is called Mermaid's Carnation. 
Now, mermaid carnation is a very spicy balsamic scent. When you apply it on your skin and give it a smell, you get a really strong, cool scent of um, uh, Peru balsam, as well as citrusy bergamot, grapefruit, black currant, and also carnation. And I am a big fan of carnation. I just think this is such a beautiful and unusual flower with the most amazing scent because this, um, it doesn't have that typical sweet floral scent that a lot of flowers have. It is um, spicy and it has something from the pepper and cloth. It is so nice and I like that combination of spiciness and floral uh, scents that carnation has and I was looking for a fragrance that uh, features a beautiful note of carnation for a long time and I couldn't find one that I will truly enjoy and I really like that I can smell carnation in the mermaid's um, carnation so um, well, you know, so strong, it doesn't disappear, it doesn't go away, it is there for a long time and I really like that fact. Now, the base of Mermaid's Carnation is warm spicy with rosy and sandalwood accords as well as rosewood um, note. And um, the hint of lavender gives this fragrance just a light and very relaxing touch. And um, the first hour of, wear of wearing Mermaid's Carnation um, the fragrance is very spicy and exotic and then after a few hours it um, becomes more soft sandalwood and um, rosy notes come through, you know, like more floral notes are coming through and it makes just the fragrance very, um, very soft but I like that that um, like beautiful spiciness. The spiciness in this fragrance is absolutely groundbreaking. It's still there. It, it, it is just not that strong as it is in the beginning. And this perfume is kind of, I think, what makes this perfume literally very special is the fact that it features the note of Janet or Gannet. This is um, an animal, it, it, it has an animalic um, note in it. It is not overly animalic uh, scent, in my opinion, but that animalic um, note gives this fragrance a very unique scent. And, um, you know, it is not very noticeable, but it is there. And I really just love how unique and, you know, like the selection of notes in, this, in these perfumes by Amanda are they i was like i was so blown away when i saw the notes because they are so nice and i always wanted perfumes that features so unusual notes so the notes in this fragrance are sandalwood peru balsam gannet or janet i'm sorry for my pronunciation i will leave uh, all the notes down below so it is easy for you to understand what i'm talking about carnation rose black currant lavender rosewood um pink grapefruit and bergamot. And as you can see, the notes are absolutely amazing. They are so... they're just very nice and they are not typical, you know? This is not a perfume that has sandalwood, amber, rose, patchouli and kind of uh, bergamot in the beginning. This is such a nice fragrance. I'm loving it a lot. Mermaid's Carnation is... This is my favorite and it is definitely my new obsession. So let's go to the next fragrance that I was very excited about. I um, That was the first fragrance that I have found from um, Essential Alchemy um, on Fragrantica and I was absolutely... I was... I was like... Um, oh, that was... Oh, okay, I will explain you why. So, Bottom's Dreams features the note of Targetis, targets, targetis. I don't know how to pronounce it correct. This is flowers, and um, in the place where I come, uh, where I come from, uh, that flowers uh, grow basically in every garden. And my grandma has the most amazing garden with a lot of beautiful flowers, and there are also 
targets, targeties in there and I just love those flowers so so much that reminds me of the place where I come from Ukraine by the way and uh, I love that flowers and I have never ever seen or smelled a perfume that features that note and so you know like obviously when I saw that this is the most kind of strongest note in this perfume supposed to be a very strong note in this perfume I was like oh, I need to have it this is just like my uh, need to have to all right so this is kind of the point why I was so exciting and it actually does have that beautiful note of targetis. It also features other notes like um, handmade peach card, palmer rose, jasmine, Moroccan rose um, and auracaria. I'm sorry, this is a variety of pine tree. And this is um, a floral, a little bit berry, sweet and herbal perfume. But this is not a typical floral perfume because Target is, you, you, they are very rare to find in perfumes. That's why this fragrance is so um, different from other um, typical floral scents. And um, you know, when people say this is a floral scent, then you just have that picture of a typical floral scent. Forget it. This is not what this fragrance is about. All right, so yeah, this is my my description of this scent. It is so nice. It is absolutely different. I would recommend this fragrance to the person who is very emotional and who wants to stand out of the crowd, who wants to smell different, to be different, to just to, you know, not to be like all the others. So if you're like that person, go for the scent. And if you're not, try it out. It is amazing. All right, let's go to our last but not least fragrance that is called For the Love of Bees Botanical Perfume. Now, a short story. My grandpa had a bee garden and I had the most organic natural honey that you can ever imagine. And I want to tell you one thing, that natural honey, like natural organic honey, is not like that honey that you can find at the store, that really sweet honey, because actually that honey has a lot of chemicals and aroma stuff in that that makes it so sweet. And natural honey is not like that. It is very aromatic, it can be floral, it can be herbal, it can be even a little bit spicy, that depends on which type of honey you have. And we are here not to talk about honey, but what I'm trying to say that I have tried a lot of perfumes that have honey in them, but they don't smell like that honey from my childhood. And this fragrance actually gives me that feeling, that my childhood memories from the most amazing honey. It has a very juicy honeysuckle and kind of um, woody and maybe a little bit animalic beeswax in it. This is amazing. This fragrance is so nice. It is sweet, it is herbal, it is woody, it is berry, it is so beautiful. I cannot describe you how beautiful it is. You just need to try it um, out for yourself. So, uh, the notes in this fragrance are Five types of vanilla bean tincture, hay, Janet Aka broom flower, um, beeswax, ylang ylang, blue chamomile, honeysuckle, carrot seed. And can we just take a minute and appreciate how rare the notes in this fragrance are? Like blue chamomile, broom flower, um, what else? Um, hay carrot seed, like beeswax. This is such an amazing fragrance, guys. This is the, this is um, my favorite herbal, honey-like, um, floral scent by now. This is my favorite. Uh, like, this scent is so nice. I just, I, I don't know what else to say. It is perfect for spring. It is very, this is not, it is not light. It is, um, it is rich, 
but it is just perfect for the springtime, you know, you know, I, I think you know what I mean. And if you're looking for a scent uh, with the most beautiful authentic honey in it, go for the love of bees, because so far it is the best that I have tried. And yeah, that is basically all for this review, I guess. I, so in the conclusion, I am very impressed by these fragrances that I have tried and mentioned today. I love them all. I haven't expected them to be so good because natural perfumes, um, they are not very long-lasting, let's just say it, but the quality of these fragrances is like huge thumbs up, huge thumbs up. And these rare notes and the concept of the brand, it, it, it's just, I, I love when I can, can experience so high quality perfumes. And you know, I'm all about different fragrances that are different, they, that are unique, special, and all three um, fragrances that I have shown you today, they are, they are really unique and cool. So yeah, I just don't want to ramble too much. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and I encourage you to try out some of the fragrances from this brand, Essential Alchemy. And you know what? I really want to try out more fragrances and to film a review for you guys. So if you're interested in that, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more reviews like this. And we will see each other in the next one.